Hi everyone, my name is Sylvia Perez and I'm an application engineer here at Hawkward Systems. Today I'll be showing you the top enhancements for sim SOLIDWORKS simulation, Plastics 2015. One of the great enhancements that they added on to SOLIDWORKS Plastics 2015 is being able to simplify your model where uh, we can use a symmetry condition now for our models. So if I go into my Plastics uh, menu here, I can go into my manual mesh and I can choose to create a runner and cooling system design. So when I do that, it picks up on the fact that uh, I created a sketch there to represent my, my runners to my com uh, specific component here. But in order to simplify the study, uh, I can now proceed forward and after I actually mesh the model, I can proceed forward again and then we now have an option where we can set a symmetrical runner. So if I select that option, you see that it creates a mirror image of the component that we actually have. Uh, we also have a quarter symmetric type where and then it copies over four times, or we can actually indicate the amount of copies that we want for this specific condition. So this dramatically simplifies the model where we don't have to uh, import the, the actual models within this. We can just use one component of it, mirror it however many times we want, and it will create the stack, the plastics run as if the entire model was there. We also have a new feature here called nominal wall thickness. So if I open up that advisor, what this allows me to do is to find the nominal wall thickness, whether it's uh, by percentage or by value, and it helps me uh, reduce the, the minimum or find the minimum wall thickness to reduce the things such as cycle time, shot weight, and in turn a quick, uh, quicker cooling time. So I can specify these, change these values here, and you kind of see what the percent difference is between the original thickness to whatever wall thickness I choose there. And we can kind of take a look and try to find what that nominal wall thickness is. After we run the study and go into our results here, we have a new uh, result option available to us. And this is called the venting pressure. So we can now see what the venting pressure is at uh, certain areas of our component, and we can check to see if they're at a critical level where this may re uh, produce any blem blemishes or any imperfections in the model. So you see in this case, uh, we were able to see that this is seeing a max pressure here of about 16.5 MPA in these certain areas here. We can then go into our air vents here and specify and see where are those possible areas where we can vent the model. And after we apply this condition, we can then rerun the analysis and kind of check to see again where the, those uh, vent pressures are located. So if I take a look at that, where we created those vents, we drastically reduce the amount of pressure in those critical areas. The last thing that I want to show you here in this uh, plastic simulation what's new is a new element type. So if we go into our manual mesh again and proceed forward where we would mesh the model like normal, choose our element size, mesh the model, we then have the option for a, uh, a specific mesh type. We have this hexahedral mesh element type here, and this is more for a simplified version of our mesh, uh, in turn having a quick run, uh, turnaround time on our study run. But the problem with this is if we transform those element types, we see that it becomes a, a little bit step, stepped here, and it doesn't conform to the actual shape. So this in turn will affect the quality of our results in this mold analysis. So the new functionality that we have available to us now is this non-orthogonal voxel uh, hexahedral mesh here. So if I select that option now and tr transform those element types, you see that we can still use that element type there, but now it conforms to the actual shape. In turn, when we run the analysis, we will have a quicker uh, turnaround time and a more accurate result there. In this video, we saw the great enhancements for SOLIDWORKS Simulation Plastics 2015. Thanks for watching.